and I'm a virtual stylist and I am here today with a series of videos on how to help you pack more effectively, efficiently, and with the least amount of stress possible. So why would you hire a stylist to help you pack? Well, I will tell you, I can help you pack with less amount of time and less stress and you can avoid the whole like I'm packed but I'm repacking and then I'm taking stuff out and putting stuff in and then I'm overpacked and now I'm over the weight limit and I'm super stressed out and I have all these clothes and I don't know what I'm gonna wear for dinner so I can help you avoid all of that by getting involved in your packing process but that being said I wanted to offer you some of my top tips on how I personally pack and how I help my clients pack for trips so that they do get to their destination and they have the least amount of stress possible. So I know that travel is not as big of a deal right now. Most people are not traveling by plane. Most people are traveling in a car, but I still truly believe that less is more when you pack. I think that packing strategically and efficiently is going to actually help you enjoy your trip more because once you get there, you don't have to worry about what you're gonna wear. It's just taking another level of stress out of the whole situation. I know leaving your house and leaving town, there's a lot of aspects involved in doing that. And so packing smartly and strategically is going to help you avoid at least that aspect of your stress level. So I can actually pack in about an hour or less and I can do that for my clients as well. Um, and then I can get them there with outfits that they love to wear. They can wear them multiple ways on multiple occasions. Um, they can pack under the weight limit or just be really smart about their packing. So today's tip is about how you actually pack your clothes and things in the bag, okay? And I don't have a lot of things that I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you and show you a little bit also. But I think you guys know this, but I think it's really, really important to just solidify this, okay? So this is really, really a key, key packing tip, guys, okay? So commit this to memory. You're going to roll all of your knits also, if you have luggage that's got the little bar things in it, roll, the knits that you roll are going to fit in between those bars, okay? So that's going to take up the least amount of space. And then on your pants, you're going to lay your pants on top and then you're going to lay your silks and everything that's like um, delicate or thin lay it out as flat as it will go don't fold it up lay it out flat because that will eliminate the wrinkles then put a piece of tissue paper on top of that and then you can pack your shoes you're going to be super strategic about those because you're going to pack them front to back you're going to put socks in there and then you're going to try uh, pack all your toiletries and like hair dryer and all the things all the other things jewelry bag all that kind of stuff so knits go at the bottom they roll then you layer your pants and you're going to lay them out okay so like you're gonna do it just exactly like this except just lay it in the bag okay so as least amount of fabric laying over itself as possible then you're gonna lay out your delicate items like a top but lay it out as flat as it will go use the least amount of folds after you do all of the clothes layer of tissue paper or if you take a pillowcase I sometimes lay a pillowcase out I tend to take my own pillowcases lay the pillowcase on top of all of the clothes mush it down really good then put your shoes and your toiletries any other things like that and you're good to go okay and then you can put things in the nooks and crannies right to take a full advantage of all of the space that you have available to you. So I hope that helps you guys pack a little bit more strategically. Let me know if you've got any questions at all. I hope I get to see you soon. Thanks guys.